Hello, this is Chompru, and I'm back with another Wii Homebrew tutorial. Yeah, I'm doing one of these again, because you guys asked for it. So, today, I'm gonna be doing a Revolution tutorial, because, yeah, you guys had problems trying to install Mario Kart Midnight in the last video. So, yeah, I'm gonna show a tutorial on how to do it properly. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is Revolution itself, which I'll have a download link in the description, which what you do is you unzip the folder, you put it into your apps folder, like every other homebrew app. It's the same process. That's really it. Alright, so my audio quality might start to degrade now, that's because I'm recording on my phone. So once you're done all the inserting and stuff and putting stuff on your SD card, put it into your Wii. And then go to the homebrew channel so once you've done everything probably you should probably have revolution on your homebrew screen and then you just click load now it should just load up revolution real quick yep here it is now revolution goes off of what disk you have in your week so whatever this you have in your Wii, it will apply patches to the mods. There's something we need to do first beforehand. So you see this install button, we're going to want to click that because that's going to install a channel to our home, or to our Wii menu so we don't have to go to the homebrew channel every time we want to play a revolution game. Then you want to click exit. Okay, so now that we have the revolution channel installed on our Wii, we're gonna want to go back to our computer, and then we'll want to go to our file. We want to put our SD card back into our computer, so we can add some stuff to it. Okay, so now you should have your SD card, and then in the di in the root of the SD card, which means no inside folders, just on the main SD card. You want to go find your Mario Kart Midnight download, which I have here, and you're gonna want to put. Shut up, Winar. We're gonna want to put all of this, the Midnight file and the Revolution file, onto our SD card. So I'll do that real quick. So once you're finished putting the files on the SD card, you want to just go back to your Wii, put your SD card back in your Wii and stuff. So now that you have your mod installed, you want to go back to Revolution, the channel you installed or through Homebrew, it doesn't matter. Now, now you can uh, enable and disable stuff that you want from the mod. I'm not using, I'm using a different mod here than Mario Kart Midnight, but, and you just click launch, and it should load up your mods right fresh in now. Okay, so that's how you install revolution mods 